What is up, everybody? Almost Evil 33 is here again with another Medal of Honor gameplay commentary for you guys. In this footage, I'm playing Team Assault on Kunar Base, and I am on the Taliban side, and I'm using the F2000. And equipped on the F2000, I have red dot sight, stock barrel, and open zip ammunition. Uh, so, I got a couple questions asked to me um, before I start this whole weapon review. I got a couple questions asked, and they were, why don't you play Sector Control? Why do you play Team Assault? There's way more campers in Team Assault, and um, I think you'd work better in Sector Control, an objective game type. And my answer to that is, if you you would know if you played on the Xbox. Um, the Xbox seems to be the place for campers, because everybody on the Xbox seems to play Team Assault, and uh, a little bit of combat mission, but... Really, nobody plays Sector Control. There's about 80 players on Sector Control. I noticed on both the uh, Xbox and PS3, very few play Sector Control compared to Team Assault. And I guess that's because, you know, maybe in general, kids like to camp and kids have consoles. Because I noticed the PC players, all of them like to play Sector Control and nobody plays Team Assault. So, I mean, that's just something I've noticed. And that's just from going on mohstats.com and finding the uh, player counts or player online counts so uh, anyway that's just something interesting I found so that's why I don't really play sector control because I can't usually find a good server there uh, you know there's no server browser like there is on a PC on con for us console players and I think it's a pretty big disadvantage but anyway um, I'm going to actually make a video where I talk about the differences and, well, the, basically the differences, compare and contrast, playing this game and Battlefield 3 on console compared to PC. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. I'm definitely going to make a video about that. Um, that's going to be in the future because I already have, obviously, my series are coming along here. So we're going to see what happens. But anyway, uh, so I bet you guys are waiting for an F2000 review, huh? All right, let's get to it. All right, the F2000. Uh, I think I like the F2000 the best out of all the unlockable weapons. Um, I mean, it's not good, but it's not horrendously bad. Like, it's not so bad that I can't use it. It's bad so that, like, I'm like, this thing is crap. But it's not so bad that, like, I'm going to throw my controller against the wall. It's just something that it has pros and cons, mostly cons, but... It's, I mean, when you compare it to, like, LMGs and the P90, it just is amazing, you know? But that's not really saying much. So, what do I like about the F2000? Well, uh, I like its fire rate, obviously. I like guns with fast fire rates. Um, and I like it's pretty accurate. I like that. Um, and that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Uh, I, like, I always like the weapon, the F2000. I think it's a really cool gun, so different. Um, I mean, it's always been a great weapon for me. I liked it a lot in Battlefield Bad Company 2. I like it in this game somewhat, but I just like, I just like the F2000 because it's always different from all the other weapons that are in a game. Like in this game, you have your typical AK, AK-74U, and your M16 and M4, but the F2000 is just the oddball, and I like that. I like that about it. Um, that's also why I like the MP7. And... That's just basically one thing. I always like the F2000 as a weapon, so I guess that's a pro if you want to count that. Uh, what are my cons cons about this? Wow, my voice just cracked. Um, what do what do I not like about the F2000? Well, uh, the hit section isn't great with it. It seems to be a little bit inaccurate, and it doesn't drop people too quickly. As you'll notice, I'm running open tip ammunition with it right now, and the reason for that is because I think that if I have extra magazine on. I can't really drop anybody, and that's the reason I put on open tip ammunition. Now, we kind of reach an impasse, because now the F2000 obviously has a fast fire rate, and it takes, you know, maybe 10, 10 bullets to kill somebody, maybe more, and you're going to have to reload often. But now that you only have the same amount of bullets that you have in an M16 with open tip ammo, I think that's annoying. I think the F2000 should default have more bullets it's kind of like the mp7 like the mp7 doesn't have the same amount of bullets as the m4 it has more automatically even if it has open tip ammo on it still has more than the m4 i think it should be that way with the f2000 as well because the f2000 has a really quick fire rate faster than the m16 and m4 so i think that that needs that would be a patch that i would like to see but obviously i mean they're not even dice isn't even considering touching this game like it is so far in the back of their mind it's kind of sad honestly but anyway, 
So I think a couple improvements need to be made, or they could, if they were made, then I would use it a lot more. But uh, it's not horrendously bad. I might use it once or twice, uh, but I don't like it that much. I still feel more comfortable with the M4 or M16. I'm sure most of you guys feel the same way. Um, so now we're going to get on to the interesting weapon review, and that is the P90. Um, I know that I don't have any P90 gameplay in this game, but the reason for that is because, um, well, uh, basically, I used the P90, and first of all, I hated it, and I couldn't get much good gameplay with it, but more importantly, um, I got this gameplay before I even had the P90 one, and I noticed that this gameplay was, like, nine minutes long, so I'm like, you know what, I'll just do a weapon review, I'll do the both of the weapons and cover it in one video, because I really want to get to my subscriber challenge series, I think that is going to be so much fun. I think it's going to be really great for my channel. It's going to be a lot of fun getting the subscribers into it. And right there, that was where I got my spawn trap going, and I just got picked off. And uh, that made me sad. But I still spawn trapped them for a little bit. And you guys will see some huge lag going on. And uh, basically right... Well, actually, no, not right now, but it will happen. I'll, just, I'll tell you guys when. And it's, it's hilarious. I was so mad at the time, but looking back on it, I'm still furious, but at the same time, I was laughing so hard. Right here, look at this. Look at this lag. Look at me shoot this guy up. Like, are you kidding me? Oh my god, that was so stupid. Like, oh my god, that was, that was literally like... I, I wasn't too upset at the time, and I don't know why, because I still had a chance at a cruise. There was still plenty of time left in the match, and you guys could see me lagging like crazy. And uh, I don't know what was going on with my internet, but um, I ended up doing decent in this game. So I decided that I would just post it anyway and that there was enough time to talk about both weapons. So back to the P90. I hate the P90. I think the P90 is one of the worst unlockables in this game. I think it's a, at about the same level as LMGs for me. And I'll tell you why. First off, there's one pro for it, I guess, and that's the magazine size. I like having a 50-round magazine, so that's cool. Now, what are the cons of the P90? Well... The hit detection is horrendous. I've never seen worse hit detection on a weapon in this game. I thought the LMGs were bad. I thought the shotguns were bad. The P90 takes it to a whole nother level. I don't know if it's just on the Xbox, but I think the hit detection is so bad. I can shoot half a clip into somebody, and they won't even, like, they'll have, like, 20% of their health taken away. It is so pathetic. Like, all the blood comes out of them, but they barely get any hit markers. And here, this brings me into my other con. Even if you do get hit markers, it still takes half a clip to kill somebody. It is the weakest piece of trash in this game. The P90 does not drop anybody. And right here, I don't know why, but um, I was sniping because basically, like if I'm just pressing A rapidly to try to spawn in, I'll accidentally move the control stick and I started sniping. And right there, you can see me lagging. I was getting shot behind that crate. So basically, the, to sum up my opinions on the weapons... Shotguns, bad, inconsistent, but they're not horrible. They could be fun to use. LMGs, horrible, very inconsistent. I hate them. F2000, not horrible. I can use it. It's, it's usable, it's just not very good. And P90, bad. I don't really want to use it. <laughs> not good at all. Uh, it's just awful. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed this gameplay, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome Medal of Honor 2010 content. Subscriber Challenge Series is coming soon. I'm going to make an update video, so I'll catch you guys later. Peace.